Hello guys, welcome to Racing Reef, I'm Rob Shaw. In today's video I'm going to be trimming back some corals. Now this is something that needs to be done when your corals are growing into each other and touching. If they are different species quite often they will fight um, and they will try and kill each other. Other corals will just grow directly over the top of other corals and shade them out completely and kill them off. This is what's happening in my tank and I'm going to have to trim back a few corals to try and stem um, the fighting and the overgrowing in order to save the corals that are coming off worse. I thought I'd bring you along to show you how I get this done uh, and for this job all I'm going to need is a towel, some bone cutters and just something to put the snippings of coral into. I'm not going to be saving the coral and taking frags of it at this time, um, I'm only going to be cutting off small pieces and to be honest with you my frag rack is completely stuffed with coral that I snipped off last time and is it growing into big colonies and encrusting all over the place. Um, it's a bit of a mess to be honest and I need to address that at some point but I don't have any space to put any new frags so um, they're just gonna get discarded um, in order to keep things tidy and other corals safe. So let's get on and see how uh, we get this done. So the first thing I need to cut back is this acro that is touching this Montipora. This Monty has got some nice little neon greeny yellow polyps and where this acro has touched it, it's killed a section of it. So what I'm going to do is get in there and cut, oh dear. As you can see as I've cut that off, this whole lump and including some of that Monty I was trying to save has come off. This might make life a little bit easier in the long run actually as I can sort of separate those up and remount that Monty afterwards. Also, if I slide you over a little bit, this Monty here is growing over the top of a coral that you can't even see anymore. So I'm going to try and reveal that coral. Chip off some bits. That is the coral in question here, right where my finger is. A little nubbing that's sticking out. That is what's left of the coral that this has been shading out. I'm going to remove some of that plating monty. This stuff grows super quickly and if put in the wrong position can be quite a blight because it will spread straight out across and it will shade out other corals that are close by. So it's important when adding this coral to your tank that you put it somewhere where it's not going to have the ability to overshadow other corals that you've got growing underneath it. I don't know if you can see that, that's the Monty that was underneath it. So, let's so get some light on it. It's very pale, but there is still some flesh left on it there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remount that piece a bit lower down because by removing this shelf that was over it there's a chance that this may now bleach out because it hasn't been getting a lot of light and by increasing that light by removing those corals that were shading it that could just well do it more harm than good. And I'll just see if I can remove some of this more of this Monty Cap. I just chucked a piece of this Monty Cap in here 
probably maybe maybe eight months ago and it was just resting in a little crevice there and it's grown all over all of its neighbours it was a bad move on my part and I should have known better Also, if you look at this Monte Forest Fire Digitata here, this green slimer has grown all the way around the back of it and is starting to kill it from the base. Uh, I'm going to attempt to cut some of that away from the back of it. Um, I don't know if I may have left it a bit too long, but I'm going to do my best to try and save it. If not, I'm going to have to take some frags off the top and remount them elsewhere but this um, barley slimer has grown vigorously and continues to do so if you look from this side you can see where that, um, uh, acro, that green acro is growing up the back of the forest fire and will slowly consume it completely I find the acropora seem to be a lot more aggressive than montipora and wherever an acro touches a Monty, um, the Monty usually comes off worse. While I've got my hands in the tank, I'd like to go in and cut off any little pieces that have been bothering me. And seeing as this little dead arm underneath here has been causing me a little bit of a heartache watching that little dead bit grow a piece of Aptasia on it, I thought I'd remove that whilst I've got my hands in the tank. While you're doing this, it's a good opportunity to look around the tank and see if there's anything that requires your attention. Um, I don't normally like to continuously stick my hands in the tank, so if I have got my hands in the tank, I like to get all of the jobs done that I need to do at once. The most successful people in the hobby don't have their hands in their tank any more often than they need to. So, what I can do now it's just that a little bit of a brush off just to clear any de loose debris or any organic matter that might be on it I have just chipped the old plug off of there so that's pretty clean and I can take this piece of Monty that snapped off when I was cleaning put a blob of super glue gel on there push that onto there and hopefully that will start to grow from that position. The only other thing to do now is to go in and try and clean up the mess I've made. Pull out all of these little bits of um, Monty plate that I've uh, sprinkled all over the bottom of the tank. Brush those off well I almost forgot, I've got to deal with that other piece of Monty with the yellow polyps that was stuck to this big piece in there. This is the piece that I want across there. It's going to be important to get rid of all of that Monty that's on there because this stuff will grow from the tiniest little piece that's left and I'll be back here uh, struggling with it in a very short space of time if I don't get rid of it all. 
So this is what we're left with. And I will remount that back. Pretty much where it was before. Back on there. That's it. And hopefully that will grow nice and big and fill that space and before the Monty cap gets a chance to start growing back on top of it. So I'm just left with half a cup full of scrap bits of coral. I could have mounted them and saved them as frags, but if you take a look at my frag rack, you will see that it is completely overgrown and there is nowhere to put anything. So with those two Monty species remounted, hopefully they will pull round and grow back into nice corals once again, and the Monty cat removed, that should no longer be a threat to them and they should be able to establish themselves in their new spots. Um, it kind of makes a bit of a mess of the tank when you start cutting the corals, they give off all those strings and you know other corals open up like it's time to feed. It can upset the tank for a short period of time but it usually clears quite quickly within a couple of hours. Things will go back to normal. So that's all this episode was about really, just trying to tidy up the tank, save a couple of corals that were getting overgrown and damaged, and uh, just keeping on top of the maintenance with the tank. All that leaves me to say is, I hope you enjoyed this video. Share, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take it easy, guys. Mm -hmm.